Hi, this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. Uh, doing a little bit of a, of a review and a talk about a knife that's been kind of a favorite of mine. Uh, it's kind of an odd little knife. It's uh, only probably 3 sixteenths of an inch thick, so that's nice for your pocket. It folds up nicely. Um, it's actually kind of a skinning knife, kind of a, I don't know, like a medieval, you know, kind of looking knife. And, you know, carrots and maybe things like that, you could actually work uh, maybe a little bit. But it reminds me most of a skinning knife for, uh, you know, deer, elk, antelope, things like that. So um, let's check it and see here. Uh, it's kind of a favorite little knife. Um, cut a piece of paper with it. I'm going to work on it for sharpening. A lot of people talk about, uh, you know, curved blade knives, whether it be an outside radius or an inside radius. And um, so we kind of go through these things, uh, many videos on sharpening uh, outside radius, inside radius. This happens to be an outside radius all the way. There's a little bit here that's kind of straight and the rest of it is uh, radius. Okay, it, the blade is probably a sixteenth of an inch thick. Um, you know, it, it's actually uh, tapers way down your um, first bevel here, secondary bevel. That uh, brings it down to the thin point there, to the thin edge, makes it pretty sharp. Plus they've also got about a probably in the neighborhood of a six to eight degree bevel here. So that's 16 degrees both sides. That'll help it be sharp. Um, you know, help it be sharper than uh, say a 25 or 30 degree bevel. And okay, there you go. Not quite as sharp as it felt to my thumb, but uh, that isn't, that isn't too, oops. That isn't too bad, but you have to coax it and you have to get it just right to make it slide through the paper. So let's work on it just a little bit here and see if we can help it, uh, you know, so it, you don't have to work it quite so hard to slide it through the paper. Again, on our sharpeners, there's two corners, 90 degrees. You're looking at the flat, there's a 90 degree corner over here and a 90 degree corner over there. Those 90 degree corners made out of tungsten carbide, and when they're ground, and the, the harder the object, the more defined, the, the more definite, the finer cutting edge on that 90 degree corner. If this was soap and you try to grind 90 degrees, that corner wouldn't, it would be kind of round. Uh, if it was aluminum, it would be a little bit sharper. If it was steel, it would be even a sharper corner. Uh, you know, if it's a hardened steel, you get a sharper corner. And if you have tungsten carbide, the hardest steel on earth, uh, you have a very, very definite, defined 90 degree corner that's actually quite sharp. So we're going to take that corner and we're going to touch the knife on about an 8 degree bevel just like this. And then we're going to slide it from the back here around towards the tip of the blade, just like this, around towards that point. And I'm just going to turn and go right on around, just like this. Turn it over and come back this way if I choose to. Don't tip it up like this, trying to get to the cutting edge. You'll actually take the edge off your own blade. I get people that come in with questions uh, on, on emails and stuff, and they'll say, my knife was fairly sharp, now it's dull. What do you think happened? I said, well, what do you think happened? You kept coming up to get to the cutting edge and you actually took the cutting edge right off your own knife. To me, very simple to figure that out. Just, I don't know, a little bit of common sense will tell you that this can't dull a knife. Okay, you have to sharpen incorrectly to dull the knife. That's all there is to it. So get your bevels right, get your angle, degree, whatever you want to call it. Do not tip it up. I get people asking me about a 45 degree bevel. That would be clear up here about like that. Okay, so if you do 45 on both sides, that's a 90 degree corner, your knife will never cut again. Okay, so just stay down around 12 degrees. Okay, this one happens to be about eight. So right now I'm going all the way from the back to the tip in one pass, just like this. Goes around and right down there off the tip, just like that. Turn it over and do the same thing. Now I've been playing with this knife uh, right on the cutting edge, talking and describing probably no more than maybe two minute and a half to two minutes of actual work time. So let's see if we have a better, oh yeah. Much smoother, much easier, quieter, more defined on the cut, less tearing, just plain and simply better. You know what, they call this a uh, silver leaf knife. Can you so see the silver leaf? <laughs> no, I don't see it either. But I'm going to hang this knife up right here. And let's see if you can figure out why they call it a silver leaf knife. A 
it's just fun. The silver leaf knife, it's stainless steel. It's a really good knife, I think. It's, uh, I can tell by uh, using my sharpener on it that it has a fairly hard stainless steel. It's thin, it's lightweight, it's pocketable. You could actually put that on a keychain, or if you wanted to, it'd be a little heavy, you put that on as your necklace. All right, this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. You take care and have a good day.